Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Want an arrow? Have an arrow. Hey, I said have an arrow. I said have an arrow. Fall down. Thank you. What is up, everybody? It is Wolf Bruce back with you again. Kind of re-reviewing a game that I haven't touched since June earlier this year. So I did a review then. And uh, actually, industrial game, industry games, sorry, that uh, makes this game popped on. I asked me to take a look at it again because mainly a lot of the things that I had brought up in my earlier review had been fixed. So we pop back in and we're going to take a quick look at it, see, uh, see how much it's changed. So, um, yeah, always remember if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to get all the new stuff. And of course, square up with that like button, like it's your favorite hater. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to do some quick review over stuff that I went over in my last review just in case you guys didn't see it and just to show if they had changed it at all and we're just going to go through this. So to make a new character, it's real tabletop -y. This entire game is like a tabletop thing, which is cool. I like it. But uh, alright, so the five classes, Ranger, Rogue, Wizard, Cleric, and Champion, Champion being the tank. So, we'll go ahead and just hit that. We'll go into this. Looks like the races are human, dwarf, elf, halfling, orc, and goblin. Of course, maybe that plays tail You always roll as a human and stuff like this, you know, pro tips. Go ahead and roll for our stats. I don't like those. We'll go ahead and roll again. There we go. So, we got 18 decks, which is good for ranger. A little low on int, which is the primary, and constitution and all that stuff. Yeah, we can bow back. Let's see. Constitution, we can bump Constitution up, that gets us, uh, lowers our int, but it does up our Constitution. What about an Orc? Strength and Constitution with an int penalty. But anyway, so you can change around your stats a little bit, and of course you can always just roll again. You can just roll endlessly, even though this lady starts, start, she starts popping off some sarcasm and uh, some general, she got jokes, man. She got jokes. She'll start clowning on it if you take too long. But anyway, so go through that. We'll just take those um, full on, pick all of your stuff, you know. Lawful good, neutral good, all the way down to chaotic evil. This is real old school tabletop stuff right there. So we'll just pop into this. Let's take a look. We stayed human, so some of the basics male, female, usual stuff. We'll go over to male. We'll make him young. young. No, let's make him an old, salty dude. Alright, height, eh, you know I like making small characters skinned, let's make him look, you know, not uh, burned in the ash of, anyway. Color, there, yeah, he looks pretty salty, right? Got a bigger beard maybe? No, just go T. Uh, I think I like that. Uh, well, that's a pretty serious beard right there, we'll do that. Give him some blue eyes, and uh, let's see, let's name him Toby, uh, Toby the Boss. There, why not? Shout out to Toby, one of my regular subscribers and watchers. He's liked a lot of my videos and he's always one of the first people to comment, so much love. Figure we'll throw him in on here. Not that we'll play this game very much, but you know, it's not because it's a bad game, it's just new. So the updates they did uh, and some of the things I brought up in my first review was um, wasn't that much progression. It wasn't a goal to shoot for basically in the game which they have fixed that a lot they um, they added PvP it's still still really lo slow lag a little bit slow loading into places but yeah, it's pretty alpha and it is you know it's a work in progress this is another thing they added in they added in a bank which I think is just cool. Look, you can store all the stuff. This is all stuff you just, you watch me make this character. This is all stuff from other characters that get sh thrown in the bank and it's shared across characters, which I think is really cool because with usual, you know, we all know RNG games, loot based RNG games. You um you tend to be playing on an archer and you get all the things that a mage would ever truly want. So now you can throw it in a bank and save it over. So this is a crafting area. This is a trainer for Archer Ranger Dude. Look, he looks salty too. Look at him. He, uh, anyway, so if you look, there's a cemetery way up north in the teal. That's where the trainer is for healer. In the red called Upper End, that's a trainer for the tank. 
the thief, the rogue is trained in that purple area in there, and wizard, you can see his little hand up in the top right in the wizarding district, and this is, of course, the rogue. So one, two, three, four, four, five, uh, um, yeah, I think that's all. That's all. All right. So we're going to take our map off. For crafting, you can, uh, you choose basically two trees. You can either make armor, or you can make weapons. And then what you do is when you're in next to this thing, you go in there, all of your loots and stuff, you can break them down into their parts and then make new things. Um, I still recommend armor for the crafting stuff because you get pretty good weapons as drops all the time. But um, say I'm a mage, I can make plate armor that has mage bonuses and get all the bonuses of being in plate armor plus the bonuses of being in cloth. Why not? Why wouldn't you do that? Uh, there are some cool little things, especially with the rogue or the archer. Hehe, <laughs> grappling hook later. But uh, a lot of the characters, like the wizard, uh, teleports just basically just using stamina. All right, so you go into here, into the bar, the tavern, my natural lands. Anyway, all right. So if you were to want to go into dungeons, because this is dungeon type thing, you would hit create dungeon obviously a whole bunch of different things. I have gone before up to Nightmare with a group and it was painful. Insane is just nuts. Like you'll see I'm probably going to die real quick even in easy. This is definitely a hardcore game. They did set it up with uh, something I'm really excited for that was in the uh, that was in my review. There is group setting up so you can match make basically with random people and join them. They did put in PvP. I'll go do that after I give you a quick little look at the uh, dungeon stuff here. Um, major shout out in industry though, they're, they they uh, retextured like everything got, all of the mobs got new textures and stuff and it just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm loving it, some of the stuff in here. But these are procedurally de generated dungeons so you kind of have to expect some uh, lag doing anything procedurally generated. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Want an arrow? Have an arrow. Hey, I said have an arrow. I said have an arrow. Fall down. Thank you. Give me your stuff. No. No. So, yeah, you kind of, it gives you the ability to be fairly tac, you know, use tactics and strats and all of that stuff to do everything in here, which, oh, put me to sleep. Brutal. And I'm down. As I said, uh, you, I was going to die fairly quickly in here. So we'll press this. This is heaven. And I'm actually going to, what I do, I, one well, of my other characters went to hell. And wow, they, this is my first time being in heaven since uh, they redid everything. And it looks gorgeous. Like, this is what happens when you respawn, depending on your, uh, your alignment. You know, that little screen from lawfully good to chaotic evil. Pick stuff. So this is heaven, where the good people go. Shocker, right? But uh, I'll go ahead and insert in the video here a little quick clip on hell. That way you can see both of them. But okay, and this is the newly. They have changed this a lot, but this is the hell respawn. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I like the whole. Oh look at that! Look at that! All right, so this is much more hellish looking than it used to be. I fully approve of this hell. Yo, what's up, Holmes? I burn you. Yeah, I guess that won't really affect, huh? Anyway, look at this, man. They, they, they did a good job redoing in here. But, yeah, just wanted to show that to you guys real quick. And, yeah, get back to my stream on this. They just, they did, it looks beautiful in here. They did a good job. And Hello, Archangel. Have an arrow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't you shoot an archangel in the face? I, I personally think that's what you'd want to do, right? It's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so they're, they've definitely increased, like the, oh, I probably should have showed it while I was in there, but anyway, I want you guys to figure out, to go take a look at it yourself, but like the mobs, their armor, and the skeletons, everything just looks really, really cool, and uh, really liked it. Um, the only thing that, right now, the reason why I'm hesitant to go into PvP is because as a pre-alpha, you can see there's not a whole lot of people running around still. So, um, like, I've gotten into these before, and there's, a, oh, hey, there's somebody here. Here, maybe we can do a little fight. So there's 
the arena version and a capture the flag version. We'll just go into arena and we'll just try one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. We'll just take a look at this arena, all right? Because they, they do a really good job on here. And uh, finding it, there we go. The other thing, industry, this is a really cool loading screen. I get it, but there's a lot of loading screens in this. Make a whole bunch of more so it just all it switches between them all. That'd be really cool. Um, oh, this is actually a different arena than I had last time. All right. So, yeah, for the arena stuff, you know, you start just kind of kicking it by yourself to one on one. So then these gates will open. The other guy's going to be over there somewhere. Is it going to be my guess? No, yeah. Speedy up until this thing opens here. And it has opened. Does that mean I have a challenger? I don't know. It's blind fire. Nah, nothing. Okay. It's a little sprinty action. Let's see. I love this smoke. This 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 is cool. Like you could be all kinds of ninja in here. I don't see anybody else, so I might. It's either a rogue that went stealth and is being a ninja, or a mage that went invisible and you know is being a ninja. But can you imagine? Like this is a solid arena. If you're, whoa, hey. Whoa, what? That was my arrow. Huh. Let's just shoot a few randomly here just to make sure. But anyway, I think this is a really, really cool arena. Like, I wish when I was playing Arc Age back in the day, like, there was a one on one, their one on one arena was like this because this is just so cool. Like, that fog and all that stuff, it does let you have tactics because, I mean, you could be standing just right over here and watching somebody on the outside and they can't see you so you always have to be aware of what's going on in the middle you um there's just there's the you know, obstacles to hide behind little things to trap your people up places if you're like a tank to where you want to turtle up and just like let them come at you like this is a really well thought out arena i mean obviously this is only for like a i mean you can handle probably up to 3v3 in here pretty easily but um yeah, I just uh, it's, they did a wonderful job on this. This is a good job. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely good. If it was, or once it gets, because I'm sure it will. This is a good game. It will get the people in on it, and uh, I imagine there's gonna be some really, cause like I want to shoot a video of like get the old you know brother Sai and maybe some Chantelise action and get a get those and do some pvp in here like i want to get some good video of here because this is just a cool freaking arena i like it but all right so uh we'll just go ahead and we'll zip back to use our portal stone zip back towards base so yeah so let's see some of the things that i brought up in my first review were the bank having something to share between them because rng base like that's just it's just, it's om there's grindy is fine i like grindy all right i enjoy it to an extent there's a point where you've gone, you know, you have ground for so long looking for some decent piece of something to put in your cape. Whereas, I guarantee you, whenever you do that, like you have another character who's sitting on like 50 capes in their backpack. Like it's, it's rage mode inducing when you get all the stuff you want on one character on a different character and you have no way to transfer it. It's rough. So I really like that. Also, crafting is expensive, so, and you can get the stuff for crafting from. All, you know I, everything so uh, being able to like you know you and your buddies are doing some runs and um, you know everybody no nobody there wants bows so they just give you all of the wood that would be freaking cool like I would I mean, that would there you go you can craft like 40 million bows off of one solid raid uh, and I call them raids just because like um, I didn't really go into it too far I guess I could record some if you guys want to see some like serious dungeon dive in see how far you can go let me know i can take either air you know one of my higher level guys that can solo dungeons just fine and just show you how big a quote small dungeon is but it is nutsy the things are huge and they're procedurally generated so other like there is differences in them it's not the same thing every time i think that is great it is solid uh, I like the whole setting of it where you're sitting down at a table and there's a DM there and he's telling you how to go and then you have this area you can go over there there's actual markets over here there's uh there's crafting that you can do like this is seriously like if you got a bunch of buddies that you know you occasionally hang out and do a tabletop type thing right which is kind of what you do with tabletop you got some buddies and every so often you guys get together and you do some tabletop thing 
you want to, all you gotta do is grab your, grab your DM, get him in here, and um, just have him narrate what's going on. And while he's running a dungeon with you, like you can make up some. This gives you this, the platform to make up some amazing. Uh, situations and setups and just have it act out in front of you all you need is like the stories behind it which um, I think is great I think it's awesome that they give you this resource this tool to improve that kind of thing I'd love to see tabletop gaming stuff come back and be more for it I'd love to be able to get into it myself I just don't have anybody nearby that does it so it's kind of meh I'm ruined but um, yeah I, I mean the game it's it's it, it does exactly what I think it's supposed to do. It's um, and it's quality. It looks good. It plays good. The the gameplay on it is actually really fluid and good and handle like you know an archer does what you want it to do. Yeah, you can block. Hey, cool. Yeah, I can block with my bow, but <laughs> you're not gonna want to stay in front. You know, you you've got traps that you can put down. You've got stuff to increase. You know how fast you move and stamina and all this stuff you have a mage who's really squishy but just does insane damage um, both of them have aggro drops like they should have aggro drops to you know ninja out and have the aggro switch back over to your tank if you mess up as a DPS I mean the tanks they got taunts they've got a, like all the stuff that that you should have in these positions you have it's great. I mean, if I was, I don't think I got any levels in that last dungeon. I was barely in there because I died. Because, you know, I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad. But, yeah, look at all these skills, man. There's, I mean, different tiers. Paralyzing shot. Multi-shot. Traps. Second wind. Re regen your stuff. Camouflage. That's your aggro drop. Reveal enemy. Like, come on. Name me a situation where, you know, reveal enemy isn't something you depend on your ranger to have. But, um, no, like, every, it is well designed. This is a serious throwback to, like, a Forgotten Realms campaign or a old, like, straight-up D&D campaign. Like, it really is. And I love it for that. For that, it is great. If that is something, like, if you guys are really into that, then that is, this is, like, the perfect game for you. You know what I mean? Get your crew and get in here and go have some epic adventures because it definitely has epic adventures to be had. Um, for, you know, like, somebody like Sai and me who go in to, you know, just take over a world, <laughs> you know what I mean, which, you know, we kind of do, we're rude like that, but, um, yeah, like, this may not be the thing, because it's not like, a, it's not a kingdom builder type game, you know, this isn't, uh, Arc Age where, you know, the alpha tribe, but uh, the alpha, you know, group has a bazillion plots of land, and they own it, and you have to fight them to take it away. Yeah, it's not. It's not like that. So uh, the PvP is seems to me more like okay, like we're gonna settle a dispute between our party and this other party, and let's go and do it. Let's go get in there and let's have a four on four fight, or let's play capture the flag, something like that. Like if you're having an argument with the bro, like if me and Cy were arguing, which you guys know we do all the time, we'd be like, all right, let's go one on one. Let's do this right here. Sit down. Let's have a let's let's get over here. And game on, you know it's great. The gameplay is really solid. There's um, there is some a lot of variation in the different builds you can do with uh, your armor, your weapons that you carry, all that stuff. Skills, everybody's gonna have the same skills. It's just how you use them and which ones that you use for that class. That's gonna be the important things basically. But every archer is gonna have access to all the same skills as every other archer. So. You don't have to worry about that. This isn't something where you're having to learn crazy rotations or something like that. This is a very action RPG, as you guys can see. First person, even. Yeah. Uh, but, hey, it's a solid game, guys. And uh, Industry, you guys did a great job reskinning things. It looks, they, things really do look amazing in there. Sorry, I didn't really show it off, which I probably should have. That's my fail. But um, I love that the PvP was added. Um, I mean, all in all, this is a great game. You guys, they've done a crazy amount of work in the, like, uh, four months or whatever it's been since I did my first review. Um, originally, I think I put this at a six and a half, seven, betting on the potential of the game. And um, I, I'm going to move it up to a solid seven because the, the industry guys are definitely living up to the potential of what they could do with this game. And is going so I mean if you guys haven't checked this out if this is the kind of thing you like 
check it out. It's it's I will put a link in the description for the page and everything. It's um yeah, it's a solid solid game, guys. He it's definitely worth fun. You know, it's definitely fun. And uh especially if you have a group of people that you want to go into is crazy fun. Is this one where you're going to go in there and build your own house and all that stuff? Not yet. That would be a cool thing to add by the way if you put in some kind of housing thing. But that's further down the line it might be, you know, not where you guys and in, where industry envisions this game going, which is all up to them. But um who are you? You are a drow with a bow stick, so you are a staff man me. Hiya Poison. Got him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway guys, so yeah, um, definitely did a good job. I'm very impressed with how they uh, how much stuff they have done and how many changes they have made in this game in just four months. Like it's kind of nutsy. I'm they did good. It looks gorgeous. It's pretty. It's nice. The action, the co the actual combat on it is all fluid, fairly realistic. You know, like. A level one would not have jumped into a dungeon solo and lived very long. So, and guess what? He didn't. But um, yeah, no, it's definitely cool, guys. I strongly recommend people check it out. Um, I did a stream with some gameplay on it, and yeah, it was fun, and we all had a good time. So, take a look, guys. This is Bruce Wolf. I'm going to end it off here. This is my review of Kings and Heroes Part Two review. And, yeah, guys, make sure you uh, square up with that like button like it's your favorite hater. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment of what you think. And since industry's already popped in my chat once, hey, if there's something you want to say, like, hey, it'd be great if this game had something, throw it in the comments. Who knows? They might see it. All right, guys, this is Bruce Wolf, and I will catch y'all next video.